continuing with the uh, arithmetic and geometric sequence this question is let's read the question then we'll decide what type of sequence it is so these are the formulas a museum has an old pendulum clock when the pendulum is released its lowest point travels 90 centimeter in its first swing to the other side and back so one oscillation basically uh, say this is the pendulum okay what they're saying is one oscillation okay so this is one oscillation is 90 centimeters okay this is basically what it means back and forth in, in each subsequent swing the point the point travels that means the point that you're talking about the lowest point this is the lowest point of the pendulum travels which is travels a distance which is point sorry 85 percent which is in other words 0 0.85 uh 85 percent as a decimal is 0 0.85 of the distance travel on the previous swing so let me explain that so it starts at 90 and the next time it oscillates or swings it doesn't travel 90 it travels 85 percent of this which is the next swing will be 90 times 0.85 okay whatever that number is the next swing it will travel this times 0 0.85 90 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.85 so i'm not going into the maths of this so just take, as i have started let me finish this so this is 90 the next is i can say it's 90 times 0.85 to the power 1 this is 90 times 0.85 to the power 2 and so on okay just to give you understanding of what these numbers would look like so 90 times 0.85 is 76.5 and now you are the next swing after this swing would be 85 percent of this again times 0.85 which is 65.025 uh, centimeters or whatever yeah centimeters so now this is a geometric sequence because this is decreasing by a product okay in arithmetic sequence it increases or decreases by a sum or by adding or taking away a number whereas here it's decreasing by multiplying a number so we are talking about a geometric sequence. So the formula for a geometric sequence is Tn is A times R, so R to the power N minus 1. So let me explain. So the question is, what distance does it travel in the seventh swing? So here, A is your first term, which is 90 centimeters. R is the common ratio okay you're multiplying with this ratio okay and r is given to be 0 0.85 so you don't even need to worry about it it's already given and you want to find t7 is what so from this you can say n is 7 so just substitute the value into this formula so t7 is a what is a, a is 90 times 0 0.85 to the power 7 minus 1 which is 6 so use your calculator 90 times 0.85 to the power 6 which is 33.9 centimeters in the seventh in 1 dp 33.9 centimeters in 1 dp okay the last question okay now finally if the pendulum is was allowed to swing indefinitely what would be the total distance traveled before it stopped okay so here basically you can understand this uh, if you continue this pattern there will be a point where it will stop there will be zero distance so basically they're asking you what is s infinity now, s infinity this is let me write the formula s this is i call a sleeping eight is a over 
1 minus r. Now this formula is used only when r is less than 1, where r, don't worry about the modulus, r is less than or it is between 0 and 1. Okay, so between 0 and 1, so you can understand whenever a sequence is decreasing, there will be, uh, when a, a sequence is increasing indef uh, indefinitely or decreasing indefinitely, there you can use this formula. So there will be a total which will not go beyond a certain number. The total distance cannot go beyond a certain number. That's where you use this formula. So basically you know what's A, A is 90 and your R is 0 0.85. So S infinity would be 90 divided by 1 minus 0 0.85, which is 90 divided by 0 0.15. So 90 divided by 0 0.15 is 600 centimeters. So total distance it can travel, it, or it will cover is maximum. 600 centimeters.